This is Medio Mundo. Hi, everyone. I'm Media Mundo Chief Meteorologist Rusty McCraney. This is your Tropics Update for Sunday, August 27, 2023. And note, I will be doing this video off camera, but I wanted to come on to really focus on a few things that are going to be developing in the tropics. First of all, you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, that is tropical depression number 10 that has just come off of the uh, Yucatan Peninsula and is forecast to become a hurricane. And then we have Franklin east of the Bahamas headed closer to Bermuda, but thankfully not going to be directly impact Bermuda because Franklin is now forecast to become a category four hurricane with winds of at least 130 miles an hour. That'll be in the open waters of the Western Atlantic. Uh, and again, uh, thankfully, Franklin will kind of bow to the west and northwest of Bermuda, but tropical storm conditions are likely for that island as we get into early in the week. But again, Franklin forecast now to become a major category four hurricane. You're now looking at tropical depression number 10 and take a look at the forecast track for the National Hurricane Center. Those lines are our spaghetti plots, our forecast models in fairly good agreement. First of all, more than likely sometime on Sunday, we're going to have tropical storm Idalia, and then it's forecast to become a hurricane and at least a category one hurricane as it moves parallel to the west coast of Florida. Right now, the forecast track would take it into the Big Bend area of Florida late Tuesday, maybe sometime into Wednesday, just depending on the forward speed. But obviously, the west coast of Florida is going to be on what we call the dirty side of this storm. So I want to show you our future track model right now. And this is going to be one of the high resolution models just just through uh, early in the week here, not all the way through, but if you look at the bottom of your screen, you're gonna see that Adalia will begin to wrap up. But look at all the significant rain that's likely for places like Naples and Fort Myers up to Tampa and St. Petersburg. And obviously storm surge will be a very uh, big issue with Adalia as well for the West Coast. And that's something that we'll monitor as we go through the week. Now, this is also going to bring some fairly significant rain to the Bahamas as well. Going to put that same model into motion. And you can see that as we get into Monday and Tuesday, some of these outer feeder bands are beginning to work in for places like New Providence and Nassau and Andros Town, and then up to the northwest sides of the Bahamas, including Abaco and, of course, Grand Bahama as well. Look at that rain coming into places like High Rock and Freeport, Lucaya, West End. It's going to bring some showers and storms to Bimini and up towards Walker's Key as well. So we're going to get wet in the Bahamas with this system. And yes, we're going to avoid the most significant wind out of it. But I want you to notice this. Look to the east. It's not Tropical Depression 10, what's going to become Idalia. If you look to the right-hand side of your screen here, this is going to be the wave impacts from Franklin. Franklin is far enough away where the most significant waves are going to stay away, but you're still looking at kicking up some four or five, even six foot waves on the eastern sides of Eleuthera and Abaco and the northern sides of Grand Bahama, especially up towards Walker's Key. And then notice late in the period, the winds turn out of the south, and that is going to be the impacts of Idalia bringing more significant wind and waves to the Bahamas, especially the northwest side of the Bahamas by midweek. So a lot going on in that area in the Caribbean. We'll continue to monitor it. And of course, for all of the latest in the tropics, all you have to do is like and subscribe right here to Media Mundo.